here is in this video i'm going to show you how you can connect your uh, separate mysql with your php my admin so this is my zen and uh, here uh, i have this apache it's working fine but the problem is with mysql okay so when i try to start then it shows yes but ultimately it drops now uh, the, there is different solutions that okay change port number so I try to change here port number also and uh, and one more place three three zero seven so I try to change port number also but somehow it doesn't work not only that I change the port number from here also from config and then uh, standard settings here and this port number still it doesn't work so the main region is of this plugin which I have installed my SQL if you see here my SQL this is my SQL separately I've installed this okay this is uh, latest version of mysql 8.0 and this is not zamp mysql zamp mysql is different here uh, this mysql is here different okay so this is not the mysql actually my current mysql is separate i have installed that separately so if you go program files then you can see here my SQL this one okay so and also along with this my spell workbench is also working with me so this is my SQL workbench okay now uh, PHP my admin I want to run but there is problem okay I want to use this my SQL the latest my SQL 8.0 with uh, this uh, you know, with PHP my admin here it is working perfect you can see I double click then this my square is working with workbench but generally we are used to uh, you can do all uh, my square operation here like PHP my admin but normally we are not used to using this my workbench more and more PHP developers are I used to working with this PHP my admin. So let me show you how you can connect this MySQL here with PHP my admin. Okay. So what you have to do, you go to here. Uh, one second. Let's go to PHP my admin folder. So C try. So my php my admin my current is this one so here i can see php my admin like that yes this php my admin now i will go here and this is the file name config.inc okay so here i will change the port and all that so first let's go and create a new uh, user here okay i'll create here users and privileges this one this one users and privileges so server and then users and privileges and then i will create here new account okay mm, let's create here new account so you can see there is an option to create new account here so add account and then new user so i will name it uh, my admin okay then password here as well i'll just put this password i write now mm. Thirteen. 
13. So I've just put here password angular 13. So this is username and this is password. But apart from that, you need to also select this one also that which permission do you want to grant to this user? Okay. So here uh, the username is admin and this so apply. Now the user is created. So what we have to do is that uh, let's go to here. So in database then connect to database server server status okay so as you can see server status it is running so here let's do one thing i just close it again and i'll start so workbench i'll write here then here you can see it is saying localhost 3308 so this is my uh, port number so here first uh, root so I had given here the name and password I had given here angular, angular, angular 13 and uh, here will be port number 3308 how you can see this is localhost and then 3308 so either you can write localhost or 127.0.2.9 like this so you have two options so whatever you are comfortable in you can write this one so now username here I give my admin admin which I had have just created here so now let's connect let's start this okay now this is fine so I can use my database and schema and all of that from here and then uh, I can also so if you go to schema then you can see so there is three databases here and this 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 okay now let's open php my admin here just this configuration i change username password mysql i this one and then here this string the host one okay now let's refresh it and yes you can see from php my admin you can access my sql and not only this you can access my spell from here also as well as you can access your my square from workbench so it's easy and no problem if this xamp sql is not working from here my square let me start xamp again you can see I need Apache here, MySQL is running somewhere somewhere else, so there is no problem. I can now work ahead. So hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.